whiskey waves, whiskey waves, whiskey waves, whiskey waves. Whiskey waves, <laughs> whiskey waves, <laughs> whiskey waves, uh, whiskey waves. Yeah. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl Z. And this is Whiskey Waves. Hey. Y'all don't know we about to ask you. Well, blah blah blah. Oh, Y'all oh, don't know oh. we about to try some whiskey. Yeah. Is there another two cocktails? Yes. All right. With two cocktails <laughs> coming your way with this Uncle Nearest Rye Whiskey. Yes. Company, yes, Nearest Green Distillery. Uh, sourced from undisclosed Canadian distilleries. Release date, September 2022. Okay. Proof is 100 Fifty percent alcohol by volume. Um, no age statement really, but age at least four years according to regulations. Uh, mash bill is a hundred percent rye. Oh boy. MSRP around fifty nine dollars. So I mean, you try this. Is it spicy, or is it not really no. for it to be a hundred percent? Not mm. as spicy as you one would think. I would think, yes. Mm, okay. Because it, it can go either way with a 100% rise. Yeah. Sometimes they're like, whew, that's a rye. Sometimes yes. you'd be like, huh. Where, where is it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just how that goes. Yep, that's why I asked. Because I feel like I have this bottle at home. I would have to check my inventory list. I've actually made an inventory list. Just see. Tell you how many bottles you need to have to make an inventory list. <laughs> and I don't. And no, walk down the I'm aisle. I'm pretty and just, sure. Shit, okay, that's still there. Z has shit. more bottles than I do. That's still there. Shit. However, <laughs> I decided to reorganize how I have my whiskey. So I decided I might as well have an inventory sheet too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes it a little easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't be a hater. Oh, this is like pale yellow. It's canary. Yes. Okay. We got some legs. Beige. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are we still looking for legs? I'm like, are you, do you need, maybe because you don't be, do you need a little bit more of this light for you to see the legs? I mean, uh, I see some. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is like nutty a, on the nose for me. I'm, I'm gonna say it smells like a grain. Yeah. Sweet grain. Mm-hmm. Nothing spicy about it. No. Very light. Hmm. Maybe yeah. that's a little vanilla. We'll, Nuts, vanilla flavored peanuts. It gives me vanilla, but I still get like that grain note. Like I've had like raw, oh, what did I have that was raw? Peanuts. I might have had raw rye before. Cause you know, when you do tours, sometimes they give you like the rye or the barley to just try for no reason other than just to try it. I feel like that's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Just the raw grain that I chew. I you get a little spice at the very, very end. <laughs> <laughs> like very, very. Uh, at the back of my throat, I will say it gets a little warm, but it's not a very spicy rye that hits you up front. It's sweet. I feel like for people that don't like rye, this will probably really work out. A little bit. Yeah. Just a tad. Hmm. I think the more 
I drink of it, the more the finish gets. It's a bit longer and I can taste the spice more. It's more prominent. The word. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's something. I don't know how it's... It's a young rat. Let's go there. Young. Hmm. Sorry. It's not, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Mainly, it, it really is just that raw grain note that I get. Yeah, you know like, like when you're walking through the distillery and then you get those big... Like the fermenter? Fermenter thingies, the, the aroma you get there. Yeah. Lots of peanuts. I'm about to say, she getting a lot of peanuts. I'm just getting the grain itself. It's almost like uncooked grain. It's, I'm just chewing it raw. <laughs> but you get some alcohol out of it. A little bit. Yeah. All right, we're going to see how this doing cocktail. I'm not sure. Not sure. I feel like this will not stand up. It depends on the cocktail you make with it. Especially with the cocktail she figured out. What? No. <laughs> so we'll see. Cocktail's coming up. Mm -hmm. Cocktail number one. Cocktail hey. number one. <coughs> hey, hey. Cocktail <laughs> number one. Hey. Oh, goodness. It's a Morrow. <laughs> Boulevard. Yes. All right. Probably one of the most simplest cocktails as he has ever picked out. In a very, very long time, I'll say that. Okay. Not ever. Okay. But I'm going to say a very, very, very long time. <laughs> this has one and a half ounces of rye, one ounce of vanonina. And half an ounce of the Senzano red vermouth. <laughs> Boom! We're gonna it. mix it and we're gonna pour it. Yes. And we're gonna garnish with an orange wheel. Did you slide? Okay, I, I see did. it. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was just sticking these in the cocktail glasses or sticking them on the side. You know? Options. Yeah, no. You gotta make sure that it's right. So, have you tried this? Fresh crack, fresh crack, right okay. there. See it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying before. Oh, no. You no. might have tried it before. Nope. Oh, okay. First time buying it. Oh, okay. Well, we about to see how it goes. Yep. Who knows? There might be a little short with us trying this. Might not. Don't, yeah. I, I can't this. guarantee it. That's all I'm saying. Gotta do something with the rest of that. <laughs> we do. They got a little vermouth and soda on here. Yeah. Had a little spritz, little spritz, spritz. No. <laughs> it's soda. Splash of soda. Oh, splash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Splash. No. One has a splash. Oh no, both got splashes. Okay. okay. Right. Just in case. I'm sure you could substitute prosecco. <laughs> That is your groove. Or Coca-Cola. Oh, soda is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola soda, sorry. I'm pretty sure they mean soda water. When they usually say soda, they mean soda water so that it doesn't mess up the flavors of what they're trying to give you. Sure. <laughs> soda uh, water. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. They not over this there. And I'm about Italian. to say, I'm sure they got in Italy like throw some Coca Cola in there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been, but also <laughs> that's contradiction to what I know it to be. Mm -hmm. you, do not this. <laughs> you go there and be hey, like, yeah, get let me get. <laughs> That's like going over there like, yeah, let me get a, an Aperol Spritz, uh -huh. but put mine, I want Coca-Cola as my soda. <laughs> They're going to be like, man, if you don't get the hell up at my restaurant. Or they're going to be like, sure, and then talk about you in Italian. Uh -huh. 
Put all the cocktail on the way to the table. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, mess. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Let's see. Simple cocktail. Very simple. Full of vodka. Mm-hmm. And nothing else. Hence the stirring. I think it'll be a sweet cocktail. Yes. And you know it's sweet. And I don't I know what it this. It might be herby. Senzano is going to be. Because I am unfamiliar. I was going to substitute it for a very well known <laughs> red sweet oh. cream. I said, you know what? Try, Try it. it. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew this one was going to fall. <laughs> Let me stick it a little different onto the ice. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's going to be a little different than the other one, but that's all right. It's okay. We got a Morrow Boulevard. Cocktail number one. Number one. All right, y'all. Cocktail number two. Two, two. Called the Deschle off of liquor.com. Calls for two ounces of rye, one ounce of a dube no rouge. It is a, what do I call it? French style grand aperitif. 0.25 ounce of control and two dashes of the pechons. I think I pronounced all that correctly. Ball in the mixing glass into rocks glass or if you don't have rocks glasses. <laughs> You could use whatever glass you want. <laughs> Just uh, As y'all see, she do a little accent on the rouge. Yes. For the regular uh, people without accent, debonair. Okay. Debonair rouge. <laughs> um, 0.25. Going two answers of this for cheap tattoo. Are we doing straight liquor cocktails this episode? Yes. So we'll see how this ride how it holds up. With oh, okay. That rouge is very deep. deep. Very rougey, isn't it? Very much? deep in color. Okay. Shall we understand we might also have a... Two. I'm about to say that about 12 drops. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Actually, I thought about getting some glass dropper bottles. Yeah. Because some of these things. Control. Yeah. Uh, I think I do have a few. I thought that about I should it. use. That or continue to uh, add. Like, if I could find caps for the right size, oh. do droppers themselves. Yeah. All right. Mix it up real good. Mm -hmm. It looks like a fall ish. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It looks deep. So I think this debonair might be oh, okay. Uh, good in flavor. Yeah, it looks like it might have some depth to it. Okay. We shall see yep. how it goes. I think the only other rouge I ever had was Lillette. And one of our Lillette's. Valentine's Day cocktails at the beginning of the uh, year. Yes. If y'all haven't seen that, make sure y'all check that out. Please do. Which one of these liquor port cocktails we like the best? 
Mm-hmm. All right. Do you have a prediction? No. Okay, me either. Only because I don't know what two of these ingredients taste like. Yes. So it's going to be a little hard <laughs> to predict. But that's all right. We just going to go straight for it. First time reaction, yeah. sir, people. We just like jumping into the deep end. Yeah. Right off the cliff. Uh-huh. All right. All right. <laughs> Alright, All right. this one is the Amaro Boulevard. Yes. It's sweet, but light. I don't taste the rye. No. It would be alright as a spritz. I need some Prosecco on this. See, like I said, all right as a spritz. If not, I'm sending it back. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right. We're going to try. Deschler. Deschler. Oh, sweet. Good Lord. My goodness. Mm. Extremely sweet. Mm, mm, mm. This too would be all right as a spritz because <laughs> it needs a dry Prosecco, at least a semi-dry, to balance out the sugar. Apparently, so, Debonair Rouge is very sweet. I know Cointreau is sweet. It's a triple set. Yeah. That and the Rouge, that's a lot of sweetness. That or it needs, and it needs probably a slightly stronger rye with a kick or a whiskey with a kick. This has more of a kick to it than that does. All I taste is sweetness. Or tartiness, I don't know. But this, with that uh, blueberry acai sparkling wine that I have would probably be really good. Because the blueberry yeah, I say, no, we'd have to go get it from the I restaurant. I was say, like, you were looking over there. Like, no, I, I was thinking in my mind. Sparking blueberries? I was thinking in my mind. And yes, that may sound sweet, but it's actually not sweet. It's, it's not even that blueberry to me, but it's blue. That's the color of it anyway. But it will probably be really good to make that. Yeah, we should go. <laughs> if y'all will to try these, let us know. If y'all will go ahead and riff them out a little bit. Also, I'm let us know. Riffing these out with because, some you know, we might revisit some of y'all's ginger favorite beer. cocktails or something and Ooh, read and do that. Ginger beer. That might could work. Yeah. But I feel like it needs something that's not sweet. Soda water? It might need some soda water. The Prosecco works too. Semi dry Prosecco is not sweet. It has a little tartness to it for me or something. Or at least because of the dryness, maybe. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, we tried it. Yep. We we went through this so y'all don't have to. But also, y'all should try it so y'all can tell us. Leave a comment. You don't leave the, you know, judging of your taste buds to us. Try right. it. Because some of y'all don't even know it, so you know you can't trust everything we say. Yeah. But also, we are trustworthy. We wouldn't lie to you. Hence why I said this needs a little work. <laughs> if I had the little ting, but I, <laughs> with that smile right there, I would put that in there. But I don't have that sound effect. But just know, that's what was happening in my head. Anyhow, <laughs> we'll catch y'all next week. Yes. Bye. Bye, y'all.